I love our country, and I've proudly sworn an oath twice. First, as a soldier enlisting because of the terrorist attacks on 9-11, and again as a member of Congress, where I served for eight years. That oath swearing to uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So when we look at the threats that we are facing today, those threats to our freedom, those threats to our Constitution, they're not coming from some far off land or some foreign country. Those threats are coming from within. And they're coming, unfortunately, from people who do not share our love for this country, who don't share our appreciation for our God-given rights and freedoms that are enshrined in the Constitution. And so they are willing to sacrifice all of it in their ambitious and selfish hunger for power. And it's because of this that we are here today facing an unprecedented moment where a sitting president of the United States has taken action abusing his power to direct the federal government and justice system to be used against his major political opponent in the midst of a presidential campaign, charging him with multiple crimes with an election right around the corner. This is not something that should happen in the United States of America. And it could be the final nail in the coffin of our democracy. Now, President Biden likes to talk to us about how he is a champion for democracy, both here in the United States and around the world. But when you look at his actions, it tells a very different story. Obviously, his administration's indictment of his primary political opponent and President Trump and their ongoing efforts to target political opponents and limit free speech, these actions remind us of the things that we see more of in authoritarian regimes in other parts of the world, where it's almost commonplace to wield the power of the state to silence or eliminate opposition. Now we know that the heart of a functioning justice system is that if a law is going to be enforced, it needs to be enforced equally across the board. That's not what we're seeing here. So my question for Biden supporters and the, the TV talking heads and pundits who are celebrating this indictment of President Trump saying, hey, no one is above the law. My question for them is where were you when James Comey decided not to charge Hillary Clinton with any crimes, even after speaking at great length about her many offenses, mishandling high-level national security documents? Where were your calls for accountability when President Biden himself was found to be holding classified documents in his own home and in other locations? Where were you when James Clapper and John Brennan lied under oath to the United States Congress. And what about the accountability for the 51 senior former intelligence officials who intentionally made this baseless public statement at the behest of the Biden campaign with the specific intent of withholding information, the content of Hunter Biden's laptop from voters, labeling it as Russian disinformation. How many times have we heard that before? Because they did not want us to be influenced by what was there and potentially have that impact the way that we voted in that election. And what about accountability for the FBI, those in the FBI who knowingly spread the Russia collusion hoax to try to undermine President Trump? It is heartbreaking to stand here with you today knowing that these are just a few of the examples. This is not a complete list, but it's evidence of the arrogance and blatant disregard for the American people, the rule of law, and our democracy that those in power have. This is why these things that I'm talking about, this should not just be of concern to Republicans. This is something that should be of concern to every American who values the rule of law, who understands that it's essential for our democracy.